course I see him. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were heading in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. Okay. So we're going to work as a team here. So I gotta beam the guys and then... Bad shot. Gotta keep him at bay. Hurry up! Entering Lover's Peak. Okay. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fought them and can call as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake.
Oh, I want that thermos. Yeah, there we go. Shoot him down. Nice. Oh, got him in the back. <laughs> Get hit by this guy, he's huge! I got an achievement, I think, for our dodging. That's cool. Just gotta keep these guys at bay until, uh, yeah, until the agent takes the ball. Owned! Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I'd read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to write about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> <laughs> Grab his gun. Yeah. Who's the bitch now? <laughs> You're gonna get a manuscript or you'll be sorry. No! Come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come back here! He had had Alice, and he warned the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Mary and figure out my next move. Oh, another pitch. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, huh. something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I never really understood what she meant. So Alice seems to have this fear of the darkness because it's more than darkness. Interesting. And she knew that before he did, huh?